Yo, what's up? We're back with the quick little update. The farm was supposed to launch today. It didn't, but it will launch uh, within the next 40 hours, according to Forex. Why? Well, there's a small issue, he claims, with the UI of the uh, anything related to dogs. So right over here, basically all these pools here that were earning dogs, even though it got paused back on like March 5th, um, it's still the UI still kept adding up, um, thinking that showing people that were getting more dogs when in reality they weren't. And he didn't want people to, when he unpaused everything, to basically say, hey, you owe me some more dogs. Am I getting my dogs that I had? It's been building up. It's a UI fix. He fixes it. He fixed it. However, now at the same time, PancakeSwap came out with something that basically said uh, V2 liquidity pools and emissions pools were stopping. So anybody with the v version 2 contract, a.k.a. dogs, um, has to migrate to version 3 on PancakeSwap. Um, and he's just going to switch that over. But what he's going to do is instead of pausing any longer, he's going to unlock the piggy bank. And everybody with pigs can go in there and go to the pig's credit and claim their pigs in the next 48 hours or so and start trading pigs. You can put them in the pig pen, um, which is where you hold it and it gives you BSDs. You can put it in the piggy bank where you uh, lock it in for a long time and earn money. Um... And then later next week, probably around Tuesday, he's going to pause everything, hopefully for less than a day, migrate the dogs to version 3, move the money over, which he says will be really easy because it's just a few values, version 2 to version 3. Uh, but um, uh, yeah, that's that's the status of it. Uh, so no, he didn't launch today. Shit happens, I guess. You know, If he wanted to run, he could have ran. I'll tell you right now, I don't think he's going to run with anything other than the fact that he's paused $300 million of people's money, but he's been making it too damn dumb to run if he was going to. What does that mean? You don't sit there and give people updates if your intention was to run. I don't think he's doing that. 100% don't think he's doing that. Uh, but he's got to understand when he says we're 100% ready to go, you have to be 100% ready to go. There's a reason on the Clorox bottle it says kills 99.9% .9 of germs. Everybody knows it kills 100% of germs, but 99.9% .9 of germs on the bottle means you don't get sued for the 0.1%. It's the same thing, Forex. You wasn't 100% ready. If you're 100% ready, you're 100% ready. If you're not, you're not. But I get it. He's trying to keep people calm down. All hell broke loose in the chats. The memes are fucking hilarious. I'm not going to post any of them. You probably saw a glimpse of some of them. They get a lot better. As a matter of fact, he's got a new name. I'm not going to name it, but I can tell you. In certain cultures in the world, that's cut off. Oh, anyways, long story short, it's coming. If you want to trade your pigs, sell your pigs, go for it. I'm a little slightly bummed out because uh, I was hoping that I could uh, break my LPs and move some money around and put it in the uh, pigs tokens or the piggy bank stuff uh, and time lock a bunch of different things and also sell some, but it is what it is. So you can't do anything because the dogs are paused. So any LP tokens you have with dogs and what I mean by LP tokens with dogs uh, right here. I had some dogs paired with BUSD and some dogs paired with WBND, um, BNB, and uh, I can't do anything about it, right? I had about 500 bucks here, 600 bucks here, something like that, and I can't do anything about it. It is what it is. Anyways, so that's the state of the farm. It's coming sooner. Um, he's unpausing half because it's been paused too long, and then we'll repause and unpause and a bunch of pauses. Um, he doesn't like lunch on the weekend, but he's going to do it because people are mad. Shout out to Forex. Keep it going. If you know his nickname, you know his nickname. Current price of drip is $37. Supply is about $90. So tomorrow is the one-year anniversary, and there's two campaigns they've been trying to catch up and catch steam. One of them being the easy one. Buy one drip and deposit it into the faucet. If 100,000 people did it, because there are 100,000 accounts out there that are connected to the drip website. If everybody did it, we'd, we'd, we'd be out of drip. But that's not how it's going to work, right? It's impossible. So another thing they're trying to do is everybody drops 0 0.01 BNB into the reservoir. We finally figured out what the reservoir does. And yet, I still don't know how to explain it. The only thing I can tell you is I went in there and dropped 0 0.01 BNB in there. Um, actually, 0 0.05. Or point, sorry, 0.15 in there or something like that. I got 0 0.010 drops. I don't know why, but basically what it was was 4,000 people in here uh, did that. It helped the price go up, and it did. It went from 33 to about 37. But if out of the 100,000 people that were in Drip went in and did that, 
we could set a new lower base price. So when every time you lock up BNB on the reservoir, it increases the floor price of drip. Because remember, remember, drip also has is connected to BNB in some form or fashion. Some of the money in BNB is there. So when it goes up and down, uh, the BNB that affects the price of drip as much as how much drip is available, right? So this is a way to basically back it up, and you could do it on their website. BNB, as we know, moves up and down. I would have preferred BUSD because that's always tied to the dollar, but it is what it is. But they basically have a campaign saying, uh, if we do this, uh, if everybody just did that, which is about $42, we'd make a new ceiling for it. And if enough people did it, the next time drip hits a, a level of like 40,000 coins, um, we could be seeing like 400 freaking dollars per drip if the whole total drip... Um, Reservoir contract held. Um, where is it? There's so we there's three hundred and seventy dollars uh, in three hundred and seventy BNB in the contract. Let me just show you what that means. Oh, the BNB price. Four hundred dollars. There's $150,000 locked up in this contract. 150 it was right there, wasn't it? Fuck. This $150,000 is added to the, the liquidity of DRIP, meaning DRIP is backed up by $150,000 of this money right here. If we increase this or if everybody else put in or just people randomly put in here $42 of their own money, theoretically, the per, this uh, price of DRIP would gain a bunch of value relative to how much BNB is in there, right? Put it this way. If another $150,000 got injected in here, we could see almost double the current price of drip. $70 or so. That somebody did the long math. I don't trust it 100% because I don't can't verify it because I suck at math. But uh, it's one of those trust me bro moments. However, don't ever trust me on the internet. It's just I'm telling you what, what people are talking about. I don't know how well I believe it. There's supposed to be a reward system for putting money in there. I'm not going to drop any more in here. Maybe I will. Who knows? I don't even know what the compound button does or the claim button does, but we'll figure it out later. Uh, but I went and put in 0.15. Put in like 50 bucks in there of BNB. Just because. I did my part. And that's it. That's that's the two campaigns. Tomorrow's anniversary, so people are like, everybody buy at least one drip, put in deposit. Or everybody put 0 0.01 or 0 0.1 BNB into the reservoir. Either way, we're going to moon the price. Except for, I don't think we're going to see much mooning because Forex didn't really launch the farm, which a lot of people were betting on. And a lot of people really want to take that money they have in the farm and buy drip because they think drip is the longer play, which I think it is. Um, will pay as much quickly like the other ones will, but it's more sustainable. So I don't know how many people are going to be like, well, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see. We're here for the ride, yo. Anyways, that's it for Drip and the Animal Farm Network. So let's talk about Piston. Let's talk about Piston. So, guess what? The team that I joined, um, he split up about 50 Piston tokens. I ended up getting about one. Got put in here. Cool, we're chugging along. Getting 1% a day. I'm getting 1.6 coins a day. Uh, we're just going to keep going. I want to go, the max that I can get out of this is um, 424, right? I want to get to about 300. Then I'm going to let it sit for about 25 days, not touch it, claim it, and then redeposit it to increase that. I would like to get this to about 5,000 coins eventually, right? Why? Because then I'll get 50 coins a day. And to be quite honest with you, the price of Piston right now is 11.88. If it stayed around this, I'll be good. Because if I get 50 coins a day times 11.88... That's 600 bucks just from Piston alone, let alone what Drip would do around that same time, right? That's just my internal goal on that. It'd be really, really nice. But there's two things that have to happen. One, we still got to be around. By we, I mean me, the world, everybody else. But two, more importantly, this project has to be around between now and then with enough growth or stability and no bullshit. Which, as we know, bullshit is everywhere. Because even in the Forex projects, there's bullshit. There's nothing we can kind of do. Uh, I'm going to go read these off screen because I don't know what it is. Uh, but it might be funny. It might not be. 
Uh, and that's all I got for y'all today. That's the update on the Forex projects. If you know his name, the side name, don't put it in the comments. Because I'll have to delete it. Even though this is a kid friendly video, I don't want kids to be like, what the heck is a fault? Like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll see y'all later. Got nothing else. What we till begs, baby. Woo!